the objective is to add fractions with sums greater than 2. Here I have 2 and 1 fifth plus 1 and 1 half. I think that you'll agree with me that it does equal 2 plus 1 fifth plus 1 plus 1 half. Adding our whole numbers, 2 and 1, that's equal to 3 plus 1 fifth plus 1 half. I think you'll agree with me we can also add 1 fifth and 1 half first by finding like units. We need to rename the fractions. We're going to rename these fractions into tenths. So we get 3 plus 2 tenths plus 5 tenths. So it equals 3 and 7 tenths. So my sum is 3 and 7 tenths, and that is in simplest form. 2 and 1 fifth plus 1 and 1 half does equal 3 and 7 tenths. Here I have 2 and 4 fifths plus 1 and 1 half. It does equal 2 plus 4 fifths plus 1 plus a half. Adding our whole numbers, 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 4 fifths plus 1 half equals 3 plus 4 times 2, 5 times 2, where we're getting like units, plus our like units is tenths, so that's 2 times 5 and 1 times 5. So we renamed 1 half as 5 tenths and 4 fifths as 8 tenths. Eight tenths and five tenths is thirteen tenths, so we have three plus thirteen tenths. Thirteen tenths can be rewritten as one and three tenths, so we have three plus one and three tenths, which is equal to four and three tenths. So adding those together, we get four and three tenths. With my four fifths plus one half was bigger than one. Two and two thirds plus five and two fifths. You try. Group our whole numbers together to be able to add those first. Five and two is seven. And then we're adding together two thirds plus two fifths. I'm going to show my work here. That's equal to seven plus ten fifteenths plus six fifteenths equals seven plus sixteen fifteenths equal to seven plus 1 and 1 15th, which is equal to 8 and 1 15th. And that answer is in simplest form. Check alongside your work. Here I'm adding 3 and 5 sevenths plus 6 and 2 thirds equals 3 plus 5 sevenths plus 6 plus 2 thirds. 3 and 6 is 9 plus 5 sevenths plus 2 thirds. I have to rename these so I have like units. Equals 9 plus 5 times 3, 7 times 3 to be able to get to 21st, plus 2 times 7, 
and 3 times 7. That's equal to 9 plus 15 21 plus 14 21 which equals 9 plus 29 21 21 goes into 29 one whole time with the remainder of 8. So I have 9 plus 1 and 8 21 which equals 10 and 8 21 So the sum is in between the whole numbers 10 and 11. And the answer is 10 and 8 21 Here I have 3 and a half plus 4 and 7 eighths. You might recognize that with the halves, I can make the halves and rename them into eighths. So let's start. Write 3 plus 1 half plus 4 plus 7 eighths equals 3 plus 4 plus a half plus 7 eighths. 3 and 4 is 7 plus, and then this is where it is that I'm renaming this as 8, multiplied by 4 in the numerator and denominator. So that's 7 plus 4, 8, plus 7 8, equals 7 plus 11 8. need to recognize that 11 8 can be rewritten as 1 and 3 8. Add it together with 7 to get 8 and 3 eighths. Now our way 2 that we might choose to use would be to go ahead and find the common denominator of 16 ths. So here we would have 3 plus 4 plus 1 times 8 2 times 8 plus 7 times 2, 8 times 2, to get that common denominator of 16 ths. 3 plus 4 is 7, that's 8 16 ths plus 14 16 ths. 8 and 14 is 22, so that's 7 and 22 16 ths. 16 goes into 22 one whole time with the remainder of 6. So that would be 8 and um, 6 sixteenths, which we can go ahead and reduce. So it equals our same answer of 8 and 3 eighths. So there is more than one way to solve a problem. The key, again, though, is to get a common denominator where we're renaming them into like units so that you can add and subtract them.